now in this third part of the complement system video we will learn what is the function of the complement system or what is the utilization in our body of this these all complement proteins the first function is the cell lysis by mac the membrane attack complex we have seen that in all the three pathways the final thing that was formed in all the pathways of complement activation was nothing but the membrane attack complex mac this mac what does this do this create pores in the target cell whether it is bacterial cell virus cell tumor cell etc it forms pores in those target cells and thereby cause the lysis of all those target cells so that is a very important very very important function of the complement proteins that is the function that is the formation of the membrane attack complex and thereby cell lysis okay the second function of the complement proteins is the anaphylaxis and chemotaxis we know that at every step of the uh, complement uh, different types of complement protein activation like the uh, I mean, uh, breaking of the c3 complement the c4 complement c5 complement there was removal of the a fragment or the smaller fragments of all the complement proteins like c3a was removed c4a was removed c5a was removed but what was uh, 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 what do they do after uh, being removed from these complement activation pathways? They cause the anaphylaxis and chemotaxis. That is also a very important function being done by the smaller fragment of all those complement proteins. So, what do they do? They cause the lymphocyte attraction. These smaller fragments or the A fragment of the complement proteins cause the lymphocytes attraction plus they also bind to the receptor of the mast cells and thereby cause the degranulation of the mast cells releasing histamine serotonin and other inflammatory mediators this leads to the inflammation at the site this lead to the inflammation at the site so that is also a very important function being done by the smaller fragments of the complement proteins which are being removed during the complement activation pathway during the complement activation okay now the third function that is being done by the complement proteins is the opsonization those uh, you know the larger fragments of the c3 and the c4 complement proteins specifically this c3 complement protein the c i mean the larger fragment of the c3 complement proteins that is c3b that binds to the antigen and the other immune complexes and thereby makes them uh, I mean palatable for our macrophages so that the macrophages can engulf those antigens or the antigen antibody complexes and remove them from the circulation thereby they help in the opsonization of the different substances and the pathogens or the immune complexes and the antigens so this is a very important function in clearing our blood or body from the pathogens and the immune complexes or the antigens that is being done by the uh, I mean the larger component of the C3 component pro complement protein that is C3B fragment of the C3 complement protein. Next we next uh, uh, important function that is being done by the complement proteins is the removing of the immune complexes from the blood. So how do they remove the immune complexes from the blood? See here the C3B complement protein or the C3B fragment of the C3 complement protein binds to the immune complexes in the blood. Okay bind to the immune complexes in the blood and once it binds to the immune complexes in the blood they these immune complexes then bind to the rbcs and when these rbcs goes to the spleen that is the graveyard of the rbcs these spleen uh, uh, these rbcs are destroyed and in that course the immune complexes bound, being bound to those, those rbcs those also get destroyed okay so this is how the immune complexes from the blood are also removed from the blood okay they, then the next function that is being done by the complement proteins is the viral neutralization the viral neutralization so how does they do so this is being done by opsonization they bind to the viral particles and they uh, make them uh, palatable to the macrophages or the monocytes they engulf those uh, virus viral particles and remove them from the blood so uh, uh, thereby there occurs the viral neutralization so that is one method the second method is by formation of mac they complement proteins form mac and these mac uh, you know complexes form the membrane attack complexes form pores on the viral surfaces and thereby cause lysis of those viruses then the third way by which they can cause viral neutralization is by binding 
to the attachment sites of the viruses so that the virus could not bind to its specific binding site in our body okay so uh, just making it uh, unable uh, unable to bind to the its specific habitat we can neutralize the viruses by this complement proteins so this is how the complement proteins are helpful in many ways for us in our immune reactions okay so this is uh, by this we come to the end of the complement system chapter